Hello everybody, this is Iced Blood, and welcome back to the Mercenaries. Oh, good lord, it's it's been a while. Um, welcome to 2016. Uh, one of my New Year's resolutions, by which I mean one of the things that I want to do more regularly, but probably won't because that's how resolutions work, is to get back into the spirit of YouTubing, because apparently that's a verb now, on a regular basis. So, we're kicking off the new year with the penultimate character in Resident Evil 4's version of the Mercenaries, Hunk. So, how does this cat work? Well, um, not the way I play him here, okay? Pay close attention to the way that I do things here in this first run, and then do the precise opposite. This run is objectively awful. Do not do what I do here. This is just atrocious. There is exactly one thing of value that happens in this first run. It's the only reason I leave it in. Aside from trying to be transparent, I'm not very good. I really, I'm, I'm not. But with Hunk, it doesn't matter because I can do that. This is the secret to how Hunk works. It is his secret weapon, and it is pretty much the only reason that you want to use him if you're trying to rack up a high score. The neck breaker is key. I'm going to call it the key to keeping a combo going. And the reason for that is it is actually pretty easy to pull off. The way the neck breaker works is with any human sized enemy, like the village is full of, all you need to do is stun an enemy, okay, the same way that you would prompt uh, uh, death. Uh, no. The same way that you would prompt, uh, a kick, uh, with, uh, say, Leon, or Krauser, or pretty much anybody else. Well, actually, no, that's not true. But actually, it doesn't matter. The way that you would prompt a, a, a special attack by stunning somebody, usually by shooting them in the face, because that's how this game works, you can prompt the neck break. And with a, a human-sized enemy, that will kill them outright immediately. So... If you get a good combo going by keeping your aim steady, um, well, I suppose just killing them outright is a good way to do it. But if you can manage to keep uh, the stuns coming heavily, if you've got a lot of enemies, like like right here, uh, what you can do is just neck break through the entire game. You get invincibility frames when you're doing it, you're safe while you're doing it, and because it's so fast, you can actually use it kind of as a panic button if your combo is starting to get low. Though, to be fair, Hunk also starts with several grenades, so maybe you'd just rather do that. Uh, in fact, that's what I'm going to try and do right here, actually. Anyway. This run is going slightly better, in the sense that I'm living, I suppose. But it's still not quite unlocking Hunk's potential, and I will be honest with you, I don't really unlock Hunk's potential. I'm not what you'd call good, in case that wasn't clear. But I think that might be important. In point of fact, I've gotten a couple of comments. Uh, one was relatively recent, actually. Thank you very much. I, I, I love comments on this channel because it means that people are watching, and that's always a, a good thing to know. I'm still a pretty new channel. I've been at this uh, semi-regularly for going on my third year now. But, you know, I mean, I'm still, I'm still pretty new. Here's the thing about the village that's actually really cool about Hunter. Is if you can, you can, if you can stun these uh, sisters here with the uh, chainsaws and such, you can actually use the neck breaker on them. They are human sized and they do count, which is actually really cool because like I said, one, kills them very quickly, but two, invincibility frames. If you get one, if you get any of them, actually, but it's actually, I would say, most, uh, let's call it most advantageous to aim at one of the sisters, you can actually be immune to the other, because they typically show up in pairs, apparently, because that's just my luck. Here you see me replicating an old strategy. Uh, I am shameless when it comes to this. I will do this pretty regularly throughout the entire series. I have done it for three characters. I am now doing it with a fourth. And, yeah, spoiler alert, I'm probably going to do it for the fifth. Point is, with this game, for me, if it works, I'm going to use it. 
If it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's how I how I operate here because I mean, let's be real. I'm not I'm not an expert. All right, this is a game that I've played multiple times. I'm I'm fair decent at it, but that's about as far as I'm gonna go with it. Now, what this means for you who may be watching this is, well, if I can do it, <laughs> you'll be fine. Okay, just trust me on that. Because if I can handle this, then pretty much anybody can. I'm not going to rack up any high scores, and I'm not going to be able to teach you anything specific when it comes to setting records or anything like that. And this will become abundantly clear when and if this channel covers any later games in the Resident Evil series that have its own version of Mercenaries. Uh, you're not going to learn some trade secrets from me, but hopefully you'll be able to learn enough uh, to make it through. And um, in this case, what that means is unlocking that hand cannon, which I've actually never unlocked before. If I haven't mentioned before, uh, I've never done it before. And that's what I'm doing this for. Four. Four, four. How many more times can I repeat the word four? It's been a while. I'm not sure how much I'm repeating myself. I'm sure I'm doing it a lot. My apologies to anyone watching this in the future because of that. I, I'm sure I've said that before as well. Okay, I, I, I pray I'm even forgiven. It has been quite some time since I played this and it's been even longer since I, I was uploading it regularly. Now, that was pretty bad uh, as far as what our goal is. And I think that the main reason for that is um... Well, one, lack of practice. Two, I was trying a bit too hard, I think, to f rely on the neckbreaker. The point with the neckbreaker, I think, for, for amateur play, the point of the neckbreaker is to use it uh, when it's opportune, when it's useful, when you can do it without causing much in the way of trouble. Otherwise, there are probably better ways to handle things. That being said, Hunk does not have a knife, so... It'll actually prove rather difficult for him to be able to use some of the tactics you may see with other characters. He has to shoot barrels to open them. Keep that in mind. Now, I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to try to just gather up all my time. Do that first. Kind of reacquaint myself with the arena. There's really no new strategies here. Again, you know, if you've seen any of my village playthroughs, uh, I've done... This is the fourth now. Any of them will pretty much give you an idea how I do things. So really, when you've seen a sequence of four videos in this series that I've got going on here, you've pretty much got an idea on how I handle it, no matter who I'm playing as. I'm just doing every character for the sake of completeness, just in case. You know, if maybe there's something specific that I'm able to do with a certain character that'll help somebody. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. And you actually got to see right there what I was talking about before when I said that there were invincibility frames when you're using the neckbreaker. Now, as you saw, right after that, I screwed it up by just running right into the right into the crowd and basically ruining any kind of benefit that I got from doing that in the first place. So, but this is a pretty good setup because you can see right there with how close I was, I was actually able to use the neckbreaker very, very quickly, and that is one of the biggest reasons why Hunk is awesome for this, is because if you can get it right, if you have the, the proper angle of your shots, if you have the right circumstances, you can pull it off very, very quickly, many, many times in a row. It's also extremely useful for this dude, because as soon as he dies, he's going to let the dynamite do some work for him. Now, there's another thing that makes Hunk beneficial that is uh, fundamentally similar, actually I'm just going to call it the same, as our previous character, Krauser, and that is he has one weapon, the TMP, that's it, which means if you get wep uh, if you get ammunition, rather, it'll be for a single thing. You'll get TMP ammo, or you'll get grenades, that's it, and having that is very, very useful. Now, you just saw me use uh, the uh, use the neck breaker. Oh, wow! Okay, that was fun. Uh, that was my phone. My apologies. I don't know if you caught that. But anyway, as you can see, the neck breaker does work on the bosses. It will not work on a plaga though, so that will be problematic. Hopefully, nope, nope, didn't do it. Or it prompted a new one. I don't know for sure. 
There it goes. All right. Not clean. Not not especially clean, but well, this should we should be able to salvage this, I think. So let's see. Not my finest. Not my finest. Okay, we're just gonna pick up that uh, first ace ray, and there we go. All right. Boom. There's another one. Yeah. Boom! There's another one. Keep the combo going. It's actually probably... There's a certain balance of how many enemies you want in the area at the same time to how many you can handle. Because if you have too many, you'll get overwhelmed. If you have too few, you won't be able to keep the combo going, even though this attack is very, very quick. Nope, didn't get that one. Cutting it close here, but got them just with good old-fashioned bullets. Alright, let's do that. This one might be it. We might be able to salvage this one. Depends. We still need 20,000 points. And really, at this point, it depends almost entirely on the combo. Single enemies is not going to be enough for us here. We might be able to... It might be useful if we get ourselves another boss, like this one right here. There we go. There we go. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. There's another one. There's another one. Boom! Yes, that's what I'm looking for. All right. We... Oh, there we go. All right. I, I achieved the semi-victorious uh, circumstances and then do my level best to ruin them. Ah, we're good, we're good, we got this. Now, key here is to live. But apparently I am a reckless son of a bitch. I don't know why I'm tempting fate here. I suppose it's just fun to try and ruin everything, because if I die here, this will suck out loud. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, we got this, we got this, we got this. Yeah. Boom. 29. Let's see how far we can go. Nope, that ain't gonna do it. Nope. Let's do that. Let's keep it safe. Okay, okay, okay. Nope. Nope. This is bad. This is the opposite of good. Opposite of good. Opposite of good. Nope. Nope. It's not... Okay. Well, anyway. We got it. This is it. It's all we needed. All we needed. Now, remember, don't tempt fate like I do. Just just don't, okay? Do as I say, not as I do. Don't do that. As soon as you get enough points, if all you're doing is trying to get the gun like me, do not do that. Just find a place to hide. Alright? Please. For the love of everything that's holy. Don't do that. Anyway, we did it. 